In my lifetime, sugar will be banned. Do you know how much sugar you're meant to eat per day? I know for a fact that I didn't. So with a little research, I discovered that children should have no more than five teaspoons per day. By the way, word of warning, four grams of sugar tends to equal one teaspoon. When I found this out, I was surprised. I thought I was eating quite healthily. Oh, how I was wrong. Addictions are terrible. Drugs, alcohol, nicotine. But did you know the most addictive product is not illegal? It does not get you drunk like alcohol. It does not harm your lungs like smoking does. This product is far more, and it's sugar. Sugar, that is found in so many food products. Sugar, that is handed to children all over the world without a second thought. Do you know what problem sugar causes? Just eating a little too much sugar each day, we all have an increased chance of getting heart disease, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, weight gain, liver disease, mental health issues, and even an increased chance of getting some cancers. Tooth decay is another side effect. It is quite literally when sugar feeds bacteria in your mouth, creating acids that decay your teeth. So I thought for a little experiment, I would monitor my daily intake of sugar. I started by cheating a little. I chose my mum's healthy cereal. Did you know, in a normal serving of Special K, you're eating 12 grams of sugar? I was a little nervous then to look up Frosties, and I had a good reason to. There was 35 grams of sugar, or nine tablespoons per serving. This is my sugar allowance, gone already, and it hadn't even reached eight in the morning yet. So how does our body deal with all these sugars? When we eat sugar, our bodies produce something called insulin. This is a hormone that controls the glucose in our blood. And type two diabetes is not caused by age or obesity. It is caused by how much blood is in your body and how good your body is at producing insulin. So after working so hard to constantly regulate your body's sugar, it can get tired and no longer work effectively. And when this happens, it can be very dangerous. And if you think type two diabetes is a standalone problem, you're wrong. It can cause blindness, blood vessel damage, an increased chance of heart attacks, and nerve damage. It can also get so severe that limbs may need to be amputated due to poor circulation. So if you rely on sugar daily, then you will have an increased chance of getting this at an early age. Have you noticed the sugar tax on drinks at restaurants? You may not have, but your parents have by looking at the bill. In a bid to help this growing problem, our government has put a 26p tax on drinks with eight grams or more of sugar in them. This is not the first time the UK have tried to cut down on sugar. They tried to cut down by 20% by 2020. But with the target being 5% each year, recent studies showed that companies and manufacturers only managed to cut down by 2% in 2016. So are there any solutions? There's a sugar alternative known as exilitol. This sugar replacement has 40% less calories than normal refined sugar. Always eat fresh foods and avoid, pro avoid processed. Sugars are hidden everywhere and of many disguises. One of the mask figures is fruit is good for you. It is said to be amazing, but it contains something called fructose and we cannot have enough of it to harm us. So if this sugar tax doesn't work, we'll have to take much more drastic methods. We'll have to ban sugar from everything. And for what I've seen of humans in the matter of global warming and plastic pollution, I think we will be banning sugar in the near future. Thank you for listening.